guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is um, episode two, I guess you can say, of my makeup collection. In this uh, episode, we're gonna be talking about my, what is this, bronzers and highlighters. Now I have bronzers and highlighters that are part of like a palette where they include either eyeshadows or a blush or whatever. So I'm gonna do a separate episode because I don't wanna be like, I don't know, it just made more sense for me to do it that way. So today I'm gonna talk about the highlighters and the bronzers that I have that are in like a single form. Does that make sense? Anyway, let's just get started. So starting off with bronzers, this is my current single bronze collection that I have. Like I said, I have other face and makeup palettes that have bronzers in them, but these are the ones that are just by themselves. So starting on this side, these are three from Tarte. These are their Park Avenue Princess bronzers, and that's what this looks. they look like. Uh, they have a little bit of a shimmer to it, or a sheen. Uh, you can't really see it on the face. Uh, that's these two. This one is the matte formula. Same thing, Park Avenue Princess, but in the matte formulation. There you go. That's what it looks like. This is a full size. These are two are deluxe size samples. Then I have this one from Bobbi Brown that I found at Marshalls not too long ago. Very, very pretty color. I haven't really used it. I've just swatched it. Then I have Dim Light from Hourglass, as you guys can see. This has the old writing. That's how old this is. I have actually, oh, hello. I have actually been able to finish two uh, deluxe size samples of Dim Light. Last year, I was able to do that. Um, and I wanted to use up those little ones because they were in face palettes. So this is the only one that I have left. I use it as a bronzer. Obviously, it's in this category. That's the only way that I can use it. Some people are able to use it as an all over face powder, but that does not work on me. And then this one from Sephora. This has kind of like two shades, a more matte color and a like shimmery, more golden color. You swirl your brush on both of them. And I use this mostly as a body bronzer, like I'll do it on my neck, um, my chest, maybe my shoulders. I use a big fluffy brush to use that one. Then the bane of my existence when it comes to bronzers, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Now we all know and love this bronzer, but we also know that this bronzer takes an eternity and a half to finish, even if it's just a deluxe size sample. This is the only deluxe size sample that I have that has pen, as you guys can see, and these other three are brand new. So I'm gonna have bronzer for the rest of my life. I don't ever need to buy bronzer again. This actually is smaller than the other ones. This is 2.5, whereas this one is four grams. So this should be, I should be able to finish that a lot faster, but who knows. Anyway, we have this bronzer here from Bare Minerals in Skinny Dip. If I can open it. Hello. That's what it looks like. Then I have this one from Laura Mercier in bronzer number three. It's kind of like a baked bronzer. I've never used it, just swatched it. Then I have a bronzer here from e.l.f. This is kind of like the one that has the four different shades and you just swirl your brush. I've used it a couple of times just when I first bought it to see how it worked and I liked it. Um, but I, like I said, I'm focusing on other bronzers right now. Then the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. Everybody knows this bronzer, everybody loves it, but can I be honest with you guys? I don't love it as much as everybody. I don't like the way it smells. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. But there you go. I bought it. I gave in to the hype and I purchased it. Then I have a little mini uh, from NARS. This is Laguna. I love this bronzer. Like I said, this is a little mini size. I love this bronzer. I've used up multiples of the deluxe size samples. I've never actually had to buy a full size because I always end up with little ones like this. But I really do enjoy these, and when I run out of this one, I would totally purchase the full size. And I have this palette right here. This is the contour palette from e.l.f., but don't worry, I only have one bronzer left in this palette. And it's this one. It had another darker, cooler toned bronzer here, but I was able to finish it. So there you go. 
I only have that one. I really enjoy these bronzers from e.l.f. They're very soft, very buttery, and they blend really nice on the face. So yes, that's the one I'm using. Maybe these two. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this. I'm hoping by the end of the year, um, aside from finishing this one. This one, I know it will not give me any trouble, but this one, that's a whole other animal. Now for highlighters, we're gonna start with my cream or liquid highlighters. I have two here from Clinique. This is the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight Illuminating Base. I have a full size and a deluxe size. I didn't purchase this full size. I can't, it must have come with like a Sephora kit or something. Um, that's the only, <laughs> that's really the only way I get, I get products. I always buy things in kits. Anyway, same thing for this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I was able to use one of these, I think last year. I uh, was able to pan one of these little ones and I usually mix this with my primer. So that's how I have two of these. Then I have this one from Lancome. This is their Glow Subtle Silky Silky Cream Highlighter in Glowing Lights. I don't own anything from ColourPop, but I feel like that's what this texture, I feel like that's how ColourPop feels. So you guys can see, there's a swatch right there. I haven't used this one, but I'm, I'm thinking that I need to use this one soon because it feels a little moist, a little wet when I put my finger in it. So I'm afraid that it'll dry out and I won't use it. So I need to get to this one soon. Then I have this one from MAC. This is Pearl. I got this because of Candy Johnson. She always talked about Pearl and um, what was the other one? I can't think of, no, I'm drawing a blank. But she used to talk about these two highlights, this one and the other one. But I don't think they sell the other one anymore. I, oh, it's killing me that I can't remember the name. But anyway, I've used this a couple of times. It's okay. Then I have four from Benefit here. I have the High Beam, which is a liquid highlight. And then I have three What's Ups, which are cream highlights. I'm sure you guys all have seen these. You guys know what these look like. These are deluxe size samples. I haven't had to buy the full size because I haven't needed to. So there you go. Then I have this one from e.l.f. This is a shimmering facial whip. And I actually use this as a highlighter. I have another one in a different color, but I, because of its color, I use that as a blush. So this one I use as a highlighter. Then a little sample here from Cover FX. This is in the color Bubbly. Now I used a sample card in this shade and I really enjoyed it. So I know that I, I will like to use this one on my face. Um, this also came in a Sephora Favorites kit. I think this one came in the same kit that this one came in. It was a, a highlighting kit, so there you go. And then the last one that I have here, is this is from Doll 10. This is a highlighter in the color Champagne. Um, this is what it looks like. I've used it a few times as you guys can see. And I had never heard of this brand before, and this came in a new beauty test tube back when I used to subscribe to them. So there you go. Those are my cream highlighters. Now for my powder highlights, these are the ones that I'm currently working on. Oh, I forgot one. Hold on. So this is the highlighter that I forgot, uh, that I realized I forgot. This is uh, Kitten from Stila. This is in my Panda Palette palette. And I just recently repressed it because it had a lot of pan showing. So this is what it looks like. I am not sure if this will be gone by the time this video comes out, but just know that when I filmed this, I still existed. Anyway, that's for the one I'm using right now. And then let's start with this one from Wet n Wild. This is a big one. This is the um, Catwalk Pink. And it's one of those products that has four different colors and then depending on where you concentrate your brush you'll pick up more color but yes I really enjoyed this one this one's really soft very buttery then I have this one from Laura Mercier this is the color highlight number one this is a baked highlight as you guys can see I've really just swatched this I haven't used it yet but this is a deluxe size sample I'm hoping that I can go through that one fairly quickly then I have soft and gentle from MAC this I bought because of Cherish. You guys know her. She is uh, Pretty Pistol 83, I think, or 87, I can't remember. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, she panned one of these last year or the year before, I can't quite remember. 
but she loved it. It looked gorgeous on her. So I went ahead and I bought it. I've used it just a handful of times, mostly as an inner corner highlight. Like right here, there's a dent. I don't know if you guys can see it from where I used the brush. But yes, I haven't yet used it as a facial highlight, but I'm excited to give it a go. Then, I know I said I was going to keep the palettes um, separate, but this is the only highlight that is in this palette. This pen actually goes with the contour palette that I showed you guys right now, the one that had the one bronzer. And I pulled out, a, uh, I swapped a blush for this highlight um, because I wanted to use up that whole palette in 2017. So that's why usually you would have seen four blushes here instead of three and a highlight, but yes, anyway, that's how it goes. This highlight is very nice. I'm a little powdery, if I'm being honest, but I mean, it looks okay. It's e.l.f. Um, it's nothing high-end, so I like it. It's okay. Then I have three deluxe size samples here from Becca. I have Opal, Moonstone, and Rose Gold. So I'll, show, I'll open them up real quick so you guys can see them. I'm sure you guys know. This is Rose Gold. And then this is Opal. And this is Moonstone. There you go. Okay, I'm going to insert this little guy here by himself because I forgot to talk about him during the whole section. So anyway, <laughs> this is the Hourglass uh, Strobe Lighting Powder. This is in the color Incandescent. And this is the Deluxe Size Sample. As you guys can see, that's what it looks like right there. And this also came in the same kit that with that... um. The one from Lancome and the one from Cover Effects that I told you guys came in the Sephora Glow something kit. So yes, there you go. That's this little guy. And then I have two highlighter palettes. The most recent one, the, oh I should say the most, the most recently added to my collection is this one from Lorac. This is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection that they did. This is the cheek palette and this has a blush, three bronzer, I mean, to me, it has three, uh, four, come on Rebecca, get it together. It has four highlights, a blush, and a bronzer. So that's why I decided to add it into this category. I, I did a like review swatches and dupes for that palette, so if you guys are interested, I will leave it linked up here. And then this is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Highlighter Set thingy um, really you can use these as anything this is the yellow one the bronzy one the high the pink one depending on how heavy you go um, you can either use these as highlighters all three of them or you can use this as a bronzer or a blush like I said depending on how heavy you apply them it'll give you a different effect so I decided I thought they would be fit in this category so there you go guys so that's my collection, guys, for my bronzers and my highlighters. Uh, stay tuned for next episode. I think I'm going to make, I think I'll do blushes for next, next episode. So stay tuned, guys, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.